So you're basically saying you gotta love yourself first before you could love somebody else. Yeah, and like you have to think of yourself as a whole and not just a half. Hello everybody and welcome to Beb Talk, a show where me and my Beb talk about relationships, dating, and any other topics you guys suggest in the comments. Me and my baby have been dating for almost two years now. We make two years <laughs> at the end of this month and we're super excited to celebrate that. But we want to kind of share with you guys what we went through to get to where we are today. When we first started dating, we started off as a long distance relationship. Because mm -hmm. you were in school three hours away and I was here in Chicago and we'd only see each other what like every every, every other, other week. week so twice a month Whenever we started talking like When we told each other that we had feelings for each other It was like hard because I was so used to like, you know, always messing around with you in person So yeah. like, I didn't know how to talk to you as like, you know My boyfriend or like my yeah. boo or whatever. So like I was shy because we both saw a side of each other that we've never seen before. Like for the first year of us dating, it was probably the hardest year compared to what it is now. Mm -hmm. Because our relationship just consisting of like FaceTiming each other all the time. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we'd FaceTime each other at the end of the day and we'd share how the day went. And then we'd sleep on FaceTime. And we'd sleep on FaceTime. Like there was no like physical touch. That was like the hardest part. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you think we did right and wrong during the first year of our relationship to get to where we are today? You think we did stuff wrong? There's, I mean, there's definitely things that we could have avoided, but I I'm think, just saying. I think with us being like away from each other for long periods of time and then only seeing each other for like the three days <laughs> that we saw each other. Like the weekend I'd come over and then we just have three days with each other and then it's the cycle just repeats, uh -huh. right? And then like... It was, I saw you for three days and then like I didn't see you for that next week and then I had to wait through that next week and mm -hmm. then see you again. Cause it's not like you came every weekend. Yeah, I know. And like it's not like I could go to you cause I didn't know how to drive. <laughs> yeah, back then you didn't know how to drive. You didn't have a car. You didn't even have a license. <laughs> um, Funny story, I actually taught Nettie how to drive. He did. <laughs> Whenever we'd argue, like it would get bad because we didn't know how to like Communicate Talk. properly over FaceTime because uh -huh. that's all we had or over text. Yeah, so like whenever we text each other it was like just Like you know, just, just us like being, going off at each other just right? us being mad and like I think we both had to like um, I think the hardest part about like going into a new relationship is Having to unlearn like the toxic stuff that you've been through. That's very important. I'm glad you brought that up because Sometimes, and that's probably one thing I know that I did wrong maybe, and maybe that's one thing you did wrong, is kind of compare our relationship to our past relationships. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And kind of automatically assume that like you would do the same thing that my ex-girlfriend did, or mm -hmm. you assuming that I would do this, the same thing your ex-boyfriend did. So it was kind of hard, and that's maybe one thing we did wrong. But I still feel like everything happens for a reason, so we learn from our mistakes and, and stuff, and we grew individually. But one thing I know for sure is that, yes, I, yeah, I admit to doing that. Like, sometimes I just be like, man, like, this is what happened in the past. What if it happens again, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what are just some of the stupid <laughs> things we'd fight about that I feel like everybody could relate to? Like, if I went out with my friends, yeah. and I wouldn't text you back... For like a long period of time, uh -huh. you like double text me like it'll be the message that you sent me that I didn't reply to, and then like 30 minutes later if I haven't replied, it's like you texted me saying LOL okay, and then like I'd see that and I'm like oh shit like I forgot to reply. So you'd forget. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, it's because I would like whenever I'm with my friends like yeah I have my phone on me all the time but like I don't want to like. It's like me when I'm with you, like, it's not like I grab my phone and I just reply. I know, no, like, true. You, know what I'm you gotta be present in the moment uh -huh. when you're with other people. That's totally, that's totally cool. And I admit, I did the same thing with you. Like, I'd be hanging out with my friends, we'd be at beat ups eating, and then I wouldn't text you for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, and then you'd get pissed. You and your friends just did like stuff for so long, and it's like, hello, remember me? <laughs> no, no, no. It's because like, 
I feel like you got to be present in the moment and you got to give each other some space too, which is something that we did right for sure, even though we'd fight about it sometimes, like here and there, you know, get mad, but it was just small stuff, you know what I'm saying? It was like mm -hmm. small arguments. But the cool thing is with our relationship, for example, you know, um, because of COVID, we got a chance to move in with each other. Mm -hmm. And now we're basically spending like almost 24 seven with each other, which is, which is kind of cool because we lost all that time when we were doing long distance mm -hmm. and now we're kind of making up for it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Back then we lacked like face to face communication. What do you think is, is happening right <laughs> now? Huh? You can't get mad at me though. I'm not going to get mad at you. Okay. This is the whole point of the like, show to just talk, be real. Sometimes there's just like days where you get on my last nerve. Because sometimes you get on my last nerve too, like up to here, <laughs> up to here. Oh, well you go up to here. What do you think are the most important factors of making a relationship work? Making sure it lasts. So like I feel like a lot of people nowadays, they like try to look for their other half. Okay. You know, and like they try to like say like, I'm 50 and you're 50. Right. But like in reality, you're supposed to be your own whole and you're supposed to find like your other whole, you know? Yeah, Like true. it's not like... It's not like I give you 50 of me and you give me 50 of you. Like you give each other a hundred. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then like, so you're basically saying you got to love yourself first before you could love somebody else. Yeah. And like you have to think of yourself as a whole and not just a half. Yes. And that's on math. I agree. I agree. <laughs> um, and then another thing is like people suck at communication mm -hmm. just cause like, I feel like a lot of people hold off on what they really want to say yeah and like they create like a bs thing in their head about how they want to think about stuff and versus how it actually of, is instead of like being straight up yeah. about stuff so that's number two okay uh number three what's that word um intuition like reassurance okay so whenever you're not giving that to your partner like that puts up that can put up red flags especially if like you know they overthink a lot so yeah. then like that can disrupt trust within that relationship, which means like one person can trust the other, but the other person doesn't trust the other person. I agree. For me, I feel like maturity is definitely an important factor in a relationship because if you're not mentally on that level of, hey, I'm ready to be with this girl, with this guy for the rest of my life and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure it works. If that men mentality, if that mental maturity isn't there, then it's not going to work. People still get mad over childish stuff. You know what I mean? You and your partner need to sit down and communicate and set boundaries for each other. Every relationship is different. You can't be like, hey, look at them. They're doing this. How come we're not like that? Well, because that's why there's two separate you know, relationships. Like You can't compare yourself to anybody else. You and your partner sit down, set boundaries. Okay, this is right, this is wrong. You know, this is what I expect from this relationship. This is what you can expect, you know? Um, so yeah, again, it's adding on to what you said about communicating, but for me, I feel like it's a maturity level. We treat our relationship as a family now, mm -hmm. not just like boyfriend, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not married yet, we wanna build an empire together. So it's not like me versus you anymore, you know? It's together, mm -hmm. it's us versus the world. And I also agree with what you said about reassurance is because you never know what's happening inside your partner's head. So you always got to make sure that you're there for them. You got to say like, Hey, I love you every day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so small, small things. Sometimes it's not even words. Sometimes it's just actions. So I did put out a poll on Instagram so people could ask us questions. And somebody said your future plans of Dima and Eddie and when's the proposal coming? That's a question for you then. But you're I'm not getting down on one knee and proposing to you. No, I know. Okay, I'll answer the second part of the question. When am I proposing? When the time is right. You know what I'm saying? Time's gonna be right. We're already doing everything I want us to do together. Your future plans of Dima and Nettie. So, I'm guessing they're talking about our social media career together. Dima and Nettie on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Any future plans? There's big things coming. Big things coming. Big things not, coming. Not things. Things. Big things. 
No, we're definitely working on big things for Dima and Nettie for this YouTube channel and outside of this YouTube channel, building things together. What's like the most important thing to like build your relationship off of besides like a friendship? Because we already have that, like that's something they already know. To build your relationship off of? Uh-huh. A lot of relationships are built off of like common interests, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like you could have like a common interest of like having the same music taste or like doing this or that. Like we had that. Mm -hmm. We both listened to the same music. That's something to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, maybe a sense of humor is something. You, you guys got to make sure that you both kind of have the same sense of humor. Because mm -hmm. I know like I send you a lot of funny TikToks or memes and you do the same and we both laugh at it. So like I guess like have a a common sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? To love each other. <laughs> the moral of today's episode is to love each other. <laughs> I'm also excited for what the rest of this year is gonna look like. Just like Christmas. This is gonna be our first Christmas living together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a Christmas tree together. We're gonna have, you know, all of these like You can't decorate things. it with me. Why not? I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't want to decorate the Christmas tree together? I'm just joking. It's a joke, dude. <laughs> Yo, can I get some water? What's something you always wanted in a relationship? Exactly what we have right now. Together! Show me down! <laughs> together! Living together, working together, sharing a life together. What else can I ask for, honey? Okay, so on that note, on that note, since we have everything we ever want together, then can I drive the Lexus tomorrow? No. Long-term relationship, the stage of intimacy. Oh, what the? <laughs> that's where we cut the cameras. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Beb Talk. Drop some more suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode of Beb Talk, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications Bing. so that you can see our next Beb Talk episode and share with three friends. Listen y'all, we put in a lot of work into making these videos for you guys, so the only thing we ask in return is for you guys to share with your family and friends. It's been Demonetti and we're out. Peace! Peace. I'm so sick of the usual things. We keep up, up so much more than what's required.